Today we're going to be talking about the Candace Owens situation with her leaving the Daily Wire and why I think that doesn't ultimately matter. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. If you want to do me a favor, hit the like, comment, subscribe button, that way you get all these videos and all that good stuff. Uh, try and make videos every day, uh, try and be as, you know, as, well, just give, give, my, give my opinions, you know, straight up in a very kind of based way, I guess you could say. But yeah, if you like, if you don't like people grifting in your media, and you just like someone who spits it to you straight, no fucking agenda, I'm just a fucking fucktard who talks about politics, music, and, you know, and culture and shit like that, but yeah. Hit the subscribe button, the bell, share it, like it, what have you. Alright, let's get into the video! According to CNN, uh, Candace Owens basically has left the Daily Wire. Now, I don't think that ultimately matters, but uh, yeah, that's uh, I mean, I wasn't shocked either. I think that... Uh, the Daily Wire is, like, I'm, I'm becoming, a, well, definitely a grifter kind of, uh, channel. But I also don't think, I think the problem is they don't, they're very pushy against other opinions. Um, I think that the conservative movement now is becoming the woke movement of, like, the 2016s. Where people are just, like, they're, they're like, is if you defend Israel on every fucking issue ever, I mean, like, you're gonna seem like a grifter. But yeah, I wasn't shocked. I, I, I don't know about anyone else here, I wasn't shocked. Even when her and Ben Shapiro were fighting before, uh, there was reporting on that before I started making this kind of content, um, I was like, she's gonna leave eventually. Because Ben Shapiro and all the people at the Daily Wire are like, immensely Israel can do no wrong. Which, by the way, I absolutely think it, it's Israel, like, I think Israel has reasonably defended themselves so far. I, I don't think there's a genocide happening. I think what Hamas did to Israel, th like, any country would just straight up, like, carpet bomb you. I, I'm, I'm act again, it's because, and you can even make a case, a better case for Hamas committing genocide is based on the fact that Dos Specialis needs to be a thing. Like, you need to explicitly call for the extermination of a race, uh, ethnic group, ex uh, religious group, etc. So Hamas, in their charter, saying that the the rocks and the I mean, what, the rocks and the trees and the rocks will will reveal to you there is a Jew behind me. That whatever that verse from the Quran was, I could be mis 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 speaking on that. It's because they want to like. They want to eradicate Israel and the Jewish state. You can make a better case for October 7th being an attempted genocide. You know? And again, for all the, all the fucking quote-unquote tankies that I want to say, Oh, well, we're, Israel's an occupier. Again, why do you choose to stop at, like, the Ottoman Empire? Why do you choose to stop there? It's because you know you're defending an occupier, you fucking dipshit. You, you're just upset that the uh, that the occupied have now have enough power to reasonably defend themselves. Because if because if you go back, there are articles found in Israel that predate Islam by like 500 years. We could have, from when the U.S. began to today, we could have another like uh, I think it's um I think it's double, like from the U.S. to now. From the U.S. phone in 1776 to today, you could easily double that time frame, and the, Jew, the artifacts you found in Jerusalem would still be further out from the date of when from when Islam was started. So, like again, just for those people specifically, I hope I hope you know that you're fucking indirectly a fucking defending an occupier, and for the people who are ultra pro-Israel, yeah. I would argue, like, I think you could make an argument that Israel has committed war crimes, especially with the 2009 white phosphorus bombing. So anyone who says either side is absolutely right on everything they do, and is absolutely reasonable on everything they do, which, by the way, is most of the Daily Wire side, I'm sorry, you're a fucking grifter. 
Like, people aren't going to call you that. You, you, like, because you have fucking Matt Walsh, who I made a video on before, the fucking conservative hipster. You have Michael Knowles, who just who looks like a fucking closeted gay guy. Let's be honest. Like, uh, if if news came out that Michael knows that Michael knows was saying slanging his booty around for some dick, it wouldn't fucking surprise me. And then you have fucking Ben Shapiro, the fucking Yamaka Salamander, the fu- the the fucking the the the, the fucking Torres Worm Fop. Yeah, you, you, like, like I don't know, like what, like I don't know what planet these people are living on. But they're not talking about constructive issues. Notice how the trans thing will always bring that up. Did you know, like, 96.5% of the population does not give a fuck. It does not affect anybody. 96.5% of the population. You're making an issue out of 3.5% of the population and anecdotal districts. Like, I, I don't understand that. Like, I really don't. And, like, none of these people seem to fucking realize the ne- the places they're getting their information from are funding this because they want to fuck you. They, they, they want to fucking full-blown fist your ass. Okay? They want you to take, de- like, one of these of theirs up your fucking... You see, this is what the media loves to do, too. Yep, uh-huh. Get, to get, get one of their big ones right here. Bam! Wear it up your fucking butthole. Because they don't give a fuck about you. They don't care. That's why they're stoking this shit. That's why the media stokes this shit. Why not talk about a a beneficial Medicare for all system? Why not talk about a universal basic healthcare system that would include workers? Why not? Why not talk about how NBC is heavily funded by big pharmaceutical companies, why CNN is funded by the most evil banks in the fucking world, in JP Morgan and Bank of America, why Fox News is fucking funded by private insurance, by hope by the fucking fossil fuel industry through the IPA, through fucking all these different things, right? Why not talk about that? Because they don't care. That they want to see your living standards fucking collapse. As long as you're reliant on them. That's that's why I started making these videos, because I am just fucking tired of these left-wing progressive people talking about how they're so fucking progressive because they call white people racist. L- l- like, the fuck you mean? Do you know what being progressive would be? Fucking telling these big pharmaceutical companies, hey, look, you're not gonna fucking fund propaganda through our media, you dipshits. Why not tell CNN, hey, as long as you're staying funded by the most evil banks in the world, like JP Morgan Chase and Bank of America, we're gonna boycott you. Why not fucking have people, like, fucking boycott the Murdoch fucking press and Fox News and all this shit? Why? Because they control the narrative. They control what we're fighting over. It is not that difficult. Track the money. Okay. Track it. It's why on it's all you it's all you go on these left wing uh, like these extremist left wing news stations and see and NBC and explain to me what left wing means by the way. Go on there and talk about Medicare for all. I fucking dare ya. Talk about talk to them about regulating drug prices. They'll fucking give you immense pushback. It's why they all fucking shat on Biden when he was fucking talking about the auto workers unions. He was trying to help the writers guild. Notice how they all shat on him at that point. If you ever noticed that, right? When all that was happening like a year ago, notice how they started being like, oh, well, maybe Trump isn't that bad. I mean, because they're fucking sellouts. Okay? They're sellouts for the most evil company in the fucking world. Like... I you like I don't know what's more obvious than being called evil news. You control their advertisers, you control the way they put out information, you control the money flow, and you're fucking good. Okay? Like the media fucking will clear up. But it's why they fucking target these non-issues. 
It's why they'll say you have to be entirely pro-Palestine or you have to be entirely pro-Israel. You can't have a fucking nuanced conversation. Which I think, by the way, I think there's a ton of things Candace Owens is absolutely unreasonable on. I think that is a massive thing with her. Climate change, uh, Medicare for all systems, all these different things. I think she's absolutely a grifter on. But, and you're in, they're even making me say Candace Owens is the most reasonable one of the, out of the Daily Wire. When it, when it comes down to Israel, Palestine. I don't know, like, out of all the conservative commentators, Candace Owens is the most reasonable on Israel, Palestine. I'm sorry. If that's not a fucking sign, I don't know what is. Okay? Like, genuinely, I don't know what is. Because her whole fucking career is based on grifting. But, yeah. Like, I don't know... Yeah, but it was... Yeah, this is this is a video talking about the... Yeah. The... Sorry, I'm still... I, I'm uploading a video. Fucking why my... Well, yay fucking suck shit. It's a fucking rant video, but yeah, I'm still fucking pissed about that, too. But I figured I'd make another video, because I didn't make one last night, so... Figured, well, this this should be a makeup. You know, one of the biggest commentators leaves one of the biggest conservative media spaces, and this, that, and the other. But anyways, alright, peace.